Alan Wake, Nightmare Difficulty, walk through for ArmageddonGaming.com. That's like the shortest introduction of any game I've ever had to do. Yeah, it's not bad. And I always say ArmageddonGaming.com. I gotta buy that domain. Like, right now it's Armageddon-Gaming.com. But I figure somebody can Google it. A lot of people Google my website, actually. So, now we're into combat. This... Why are you picking those up? I don't know. They're not really there. They're just showing you. Like, I already picked them all up, but for some reason they're showing up again. I don't get it. It helps, it helps uh, point which direction to go. Yeah. Um, I've still been on my way of getting most of the treasure chests. So, for the first part of this level, you're just running uh, inside these cabins to the right of me. There is one up the hill a little bit, and then there's one to the right of me now. Uh, each one has some collectibles in it, so if you're looking for them, head on in there. Um, one's a TV, I think, and one's a radio. I'm not sure. Well, this game goes a lot faster when you're not looking for collectibles. Oh, yeah, like, this is... The first time, not the first time, but this is like, last time I did this game on Nightmare, I've only played this game on Nightmare twice. Last time was when I got all the collectibles on, and it was awful. And I I feel like I'm just plowing through, like I'm recording every episode I've done so far, I've recorded in one sitting. Wow, that's hardcore. So all these videos I have, this is all episode two? And one from episode three. It seems that the beginning, <laughs> just like last time. Yeah, it just seems like the beginning of each episode is some boring, Hello? easy daytime part. So Rusty's struggling over here. He leaves your revolver after a cutscene. Um, then you gotta go over here. There's some collectibles behind this cabin if you go to the left. But I'm not gonna do that. But I will get that one because it's right in my way. You can't resist. I'd feel bad just leaving it there. It's cold, and it could use a nice home inside my pocket. Oh, look, here's another one. <laughs> that one's not outside, so I can't say it's cold. So open up this little weapon cabinet here. You'll get some batteries and some ammo. And then in here, you're going to go to turn on the power, and you're going to not be able to. By the way, that's mad against regulations that... uh that guy just gave up his weapon like that. Were you a force? Like a force guy? At some point, like a boy scout? No, 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 but like, that's not good for business. Plus, that goo on the ground, that is some annoying shit. Like, I don't even understand what purpose it serves just to be other than annoying. Just to be a nuisance. Yeah. So, from now until the rest of this level, or not the rest of this level, but from now until a certain point in this level, I think it's in like two or three videos, be very um, skimpy with your ammo. Do not shoot unless you have to. Um, when you go outside of this cabin over here, you're going to have to fight Rusty again. Or not again, but you're going to have to fight Rusty. And there's going to be an ammo stash, so you're all set for now, but there's a point later in the level where... This is my, what, third or fourth time through this game now, and every single time, even on the easier difficulties, I run out of ammo with the same part. Guy sounds like he's tweaking on coffee. So, this is the first time we have to fight a guy like Rusty. Um, these kind of enemies are going to become more standard in chapters 5 and 6. Um... They pretty much just move really fast, and they're hard to get a focus on, but they will stand still for some points. Um, they really, they usually don't come too close to you as long as you kind of keep a flashlight on them. When they do start getting close to you, just shine your light on them and they'll run away again. He just takes a while to kill. He's really not that hard. Wow, this is rather unexciting. I must say. I know, I was... This isn't even a part that's, like, boring. Or, this isn't even a part that's terrifying. It's just boring. And you know what I think it is? I think 
Look how much bullets it takes to kill this guy. That's one. That's one six rounds. That's twelve rounds. Let's just keep going. Wow. That is, what? Sixteen rounds right there. It took to kill that guy. Fifteen. And then two more guys are gonna come and just ruin your day. Assholes. And you can still pick up ammo from that little thing behind you, so you can just waste ammo on these guys all you want. And from this point on is the point where you really want to start hoarding your ammo. Um, there's a hidden chest I get, and it gives me a shotgun. That one is absolutely necessary, or you will probably have a lot of trouble getting through a certain part coming up.